going on, gang? This your boy. Y'all know we back. We had to uh, buy another GoPro charger when we went to the house. Dang, I forgot to unlock the thing. But yeah, we here in uh, Casabella, Alabama. If y'all can hear me, hold on one second. We're in Castleberry, Alabama. About to uh, drop this trailer. Go hook up to the preload. We're picking up it every Sunday, so we'll deliver Monday. Somewhere under Nashville. I don't know how to pronounce the city, but about 370 miles away. But yeah, y'all, let me unhook the trailer. I'll get back with y'all. Yeah, we back. We about to. This the load we hooking up to. I'm gonna show y'all that in a little bit. But right now, I wanna show y'all this little bit of gap. For y'all know, Montgomery trucks are longer than. Right, we got a 53 foot trailer, but the frame of the truck is long, and we already had a, the Kingpin pushed all the way back. Uh, the fifth wheel, I mean, pushed all the way back to the last knot. So, get it wasn't too tight, but it's kind of tighter than normal to get into the. Uh, to get hooked to the trailer, you have to, you know, make sure you ain't uh, skin the back of the trailer up there to get into it. But that's a super small gap compared to the one in the back I'm about to show y'all. But here's the load. Pretty simple load going to um, Tennessee, as I said. Nice trailer. It looked like an old Montgomery trailer. Tires look pretty good. That's the load, man. Going to Tennessee, deliver tomorrow morning. We're going to be there early. But look at this gap right here. Look at this big old gap. <laughs> That's easy to get into, right? But that one takes a little bit of driving skills, but ain't nothing a professional can't do. So that's what we out here for, man. But now we about to secure this load, and we'll get back to y'all. All right, Pete, we back. We already got it secured. I was going to do a securement, but it's video but it's simple simple load i was gonna add another strap right here but i don't need as many straps as i do on the front see i got three at the top i didn't need three necessarily because it's blocked at the top as you can tell it's like blocked off by the front piece so that's a continuation of the load so we didn't really need another strap there I just added an extra for the back piece because uh, Montgomery MT, I'm with MT, but the uh, on the operator side, but Montgomery, they teach us to have, you know, you gotta have a strap within the first five feet and the last five feet. So I just added that one. This would have probably got it, but I just, you know, added it. Ain't no big deal. But yeah, y'all, that's the load. Secure pretty good. And no, that is not my strap. That's a strap that's been there. We're gonna leave it there because they use straps for the intermediate ones once they load it. So once they preload it. So yeah. That's your boy load. And we about to take y'all. Y'all see we got the truck running, landing gear up, airlines, everything hooked up. We just wanted to record this for y'all. 
to update y'all where we at. Now we about to take off, hit the road, going 65 North all the way to Nashville. Right under Nashville, but we gonna be in, you know, Nashville County line, so. But this the place, it's a Watt, Wattheiser in uh, Castleberry, Alabama. Pretty big size place. But like I say, that's a Magaroy. There go your boy. MT Select, baby. All right, man, we about to take off at the road. We'll get back to y'all. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Demont, to the trucker. Thank y'all for watching.